This is PCAA Basketball. Brought to you in part by Coors Light. So turn it loose tonight. And by Sentry Insurance. For all your insurance needs, call your local Sentry agent. Where all's well, even when all isn't. Everybody, this is Mike Walden along with Lynn Shackelford. When these two teams first got together this season, it was about a month ago down at the Long Beach Arena. It went four overtime. Long Beach won 52-50, and since that time, Fullerton hasn't been the same team. No, they haven't. Uh, while on the other hand, Long Beach, I think, is one of the more improved teams in the conference. So even though they're playing at Fullerton, I look for another close one tonight. And in addition, we got two great guards messed up. I, yeah, right, because if it goes down to the wire, you know that Long Who's Beach will go to Jody Gardner. They always do, and he generally comes through because it was Gardner who made that 30-foot shot that won the four-overtime game a month ago. He also hit a shot at the buzzer to beat UCSB. He can shoot from the outside, yet he has the quickness to go inside. Good smart player out on the court. And, of course, for Fullerton, there's always Leon Wood, the great senior who was the leading scorer in the PCAA. Oh, no doubt. Every time Leon goes on the court, you're looking at one of the better guards in the country. Now, there's some people who say that because he has to score more this year, that his shot selection is not good. And we'll watch that closely tonight. Yeah, he had a tough time in the last 41 minutes against Vegas on Thursday night in the overtime. Dave Voss is having a good time with this Long Beach team because they're playing well now. They have won uh, six and lost six in their last 12 games. Well, I think he has done a very good job, and this is his first year down at Long Beach, in bringing the team along so that they hit, hit their peak or reach their potential in late February and March. A year ago, George McCorn's team lost its last three games of the season. McCorn is hoping to turn that around with a victory here tonight against Long Beach. You know, he's got a good record everywhere he goes, and he's going to have a good overall record this year, but they've had so many frustrating losses in overtime, I might think he would be calling this his most frustrating season in coaching. No doubt about that. Should be a close one. Long Beach State, Fullerton State, we'll have the starting lineups for you right after these messages. Hardigan's Hardware took delivery of 60 sacks of assorted seed. Seed? Seed? Seed. And Fenton's Fast Fertilizer. Fertilizer? 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 That evening, the sprinkler system malfunctioned. Overnight, their business had grown. Oh! My gosh! Fortunately, they had Sentry's unique business policy for hardware store owners. Just wait till I tell her. Honey, they're gonna help us cut. Oh. Our losses. If you own a business, call Sentry, where all's well, even what all isn't. And now for the starting lineups, and for that job, we call upon Steve Jacobson, the PA announcer here at Titan Gym. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cal State Fullerton's Titan Gym for tonight's Pacific Coast Athletic Association basketball game between the Long Beach State 49ers and your Cal State Fullerton Titans. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's game. At forward for the Long Beach State 49ers, a 6'6 junior from Gadsden, Alabama, number 31, Daryl Adams. At forward for your Cal State Fullerton Titans, a 6'6 junior from Santa Ana, number 44, Tony Neal. At forward for the 49ers, a 6'7 senior from Gardena, number 34, Craig Lack. 
At forward for the Titans, a 6'6 junior from Compton, number 32, Gary Davis. At center for the 49ers, a 6'11 sophomore from Antwerpen, Belgium, number 55, Ivan Verbetic. At center for the Titans, a 6'11 senior from Long Beach, number double zero, Ozell Jones. At guard for the 49ers, a 6'2 junior from Oakland, number 22, Ricky Smith. At guard for the Titans, a 6'4 sophomore from Los Angeles, number 22, Kevin Henderson. At guard for the 49ers, a 6'4 senior from Scottsdale, Arizona, number 20, Jody Gardner. And at guard for your Titans, a 6'3 senior from Santa Monica, number 20, Leon Wood. The head coach of the Long Beach State 49ers is Dave Buss. The head coach of the Cal State Fullerton Titans is George McQuarn. All right, we're about ready to go. Fullerton State and Long Beach State, and we'll have the tip-off right after this. This bud's for everyone who takes the power and sends it down the line. This bud's for you. Distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. This is Holmes Tuttle Subaru. You're looking at the largest Subaru inventory in Orange County. Over 100 Subarus are in stock, ready for immediate delivery. Our volume inventory enables us to sell at lower prices. And at Holmes Tuttle Subaru, we'll see to it that you get the highest dollar possible for your trade-in and fast financing at the lowest rate available. Holmes Tuttle Subaru for the best Subaru deal in Orange County, where 5 and 405 meet in the Irvine Auto Center. Bob Sidoff of Mill Valley, California, will be the referee tonight, and working along with Bob Sidoff, Fred Carbone of Bonita, California, which is right in the San Diego area, and Kirby Sunderman of El Paso. It'll be a jump ball between Ivan Verbetic and Ozell Jones, and that'll be a very interesting matchup. Both are 6'11", but Ozell Jones will outweigh him by 20 pounds or so. Fullerton State, 16 and 10, 7 and 8 in the league. Long Beach, 9 and 15, 6 and 9 in the PCAA, and both teams are bound for the postseason tournament. Ozell gets the tip back to Leon Wood, and we're underway here at Titan Gym. They start out with Ricky Smith on Leon Wood. Now, Leon's got a height advantage on him. Leon is 6'3". Ricky Smith is 6'2", although he doesn't look quite that no, tall. It looks like it's much more than an inch, doesn't it? We'll see. There it is. Leon misses his first shot. A follow-up is not good by Tony Neal, and it's volleyballed around, and Smith tries to flip it back into a play. And Kirby Sunderman says that Neal touched it last, so it'll be out of bounds to... Long Beach. Well, one thing Neil did that he, they didn't get called for is he gave a little shove in the back there to Ricky Smith. George McCorn, way down at the other end, is calling the uh, out of bounds play he wants to run. Ozell Jones down low on one side, Tony Neal on the other. Kevin Henderson with the ball now, and he's given Fullerton a little bit of a lift. This is his third start. He had a good game against UNLV Thursday night at the Thomas and Mack Center. But Fullerton lost another overtime game, their fourth overtime loss. Neal misses underneath, and it's to Long Beach. Ricky Smith with it. Possibly overpassing there. Good move by Ozell Jones. Geez, all he had to do is almost drop the ball down the hoop, and he passed it. There's Jody Gardner for two. You know, Gardner's a big kid, listed at about 6'4", 195. Uh, he looks like he could be well over 200, and yet he has a very quick first step going to the hoop. Sometimes they move him to a forward and go with a three-guard offense. Ozell Jones on a little five-footer, an air ball, and Ricky Smith, the ball is kicked off his knee. 
The Titans will inbound the ball. Dave Buss, the 45-year-old head coach at Long Beach State. Last year, he was an assistant to Jerry Tarkanian at UNLV. And before George McCorn came here to Fullerton, he was an assistant to Tark for four years over in Vegas. Leon Wood out in front, looking over that Long Beach zone. Kicks it out over to Henderson, who'll take the shot. Ivan Verbetic tips it over to Ricky Smith. Smith down the middle, may go all the way. He does, doesn't get the basket. And the foul will be whistled against Ricky Smith. An offensive charge by Ricky Smith. And it's a good defensive play by Leon Wood, who drew the offensive charge. Now, Ricky Smith handled everything right on the fast break. He just went too far in. Looks like he thought he had himself a lab. Almost did. Leon out in front with Henderson on the left wing. Now he goes down underneath, and Davis comes out at the side. Gary Davis looking inside constantly for Ozell Jones. There it goes into the big guy, having a little trouble handling it. Henderson. And Kirby Sunderman has a foul away from play, and it'll be against the Titans. It's called against Kevin Henderson. Henderson, the 6'4 sophomore from Carson. Dave Buss, who was hired by Vince Lombardi. At the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. That's right. And they started, and it was there a very successful program for Vince quite a few years. Was an advisor to the school at that time. All the coaches came in to interview. Vince took a hankering to Dave Buss, and that's how he got the job. Jody Gardner makes it 4 0 Long Beach State. Jody Gardner averaging better than 16 points a game. I look for Leon Wood to get a little more active here in the offense right now. Maybe look for a shot more. He's taking one. There, there it is. Yep. You can almost predict it. Henderson tries to follow up. Ozell Jones rams it in with the right hand. And Jody Gardner says, hey, what about a tee? He was holding on the rim. He may have a point. I'll tell you, it was a totally unnecessary shot. And if he did hold on the rim, it should be. The foul called on Ivan Verbetti. So far, they have not put the basket up on the scoreboard. George McCorn is wondering about that, too. And you can see framed in the picture with McCorn, John Sneed and Phil Matthews, two of his assistants. They didn't count the basket. Henderson is a player who has come on uh, here towards the latter part of the season, spent much of the season just sitting on the bench, getting no playing time. Uh, had missed a practice, and then, according to Coach McCorn, was not practicing hard. And he had given him a few chances, and then when finally when he did, gave him another chance and he played hard, and then he came back and practiced hard, he's earned himself a starting spot. Fullerton State shooting only 66% at the free throw line. But that percentage is pulled down as Davis tries a shot from outside. There's Ozell Jones scoring. That percentage is pulled down because Tony Neal has his problems at the line. He's only 30%. Ozell Jones about the mid-40s. But 66%. That's cost Fullerton State some games. 4-2 lead for Long Beach. Jody Gardner jumps on a 16-footer. Hey, Gardner's going to have a big night if this is any indication. He scored all six oh, yeah. of the Long Beach points. Here's a, uh, a coach's son. He's a senior. He really knows how to get himself ready, prepared for a game. And you, you always you know, know those guys that are ready to play because they come out strong. So does Leon Wood, 6-4. Leon, by the way, was the first man on the court. He came out for a little shooting practice about an hour and a half before the start of the game. you got to get here early to beat Leon. Ricky Smith off to Jody Gardner. Bad pass by Craig Lack, and it's picked off by the Titans. Leon Wood can tie it with a bucket down this time. It's 6-4 Long Beach. And John Washington getting ready to come in for the 49ers. Probably for Craig Lack and that bad pass. Well, we got a foul right around the free throw line. Ivan Verbetti, he's got a new T-shirt on tonight. Yeah, he sure does. Let's look at that play right underneath, underneath there. Ozell Jones, I tell you, Ozell's got some height on his uh, jumping tonight. 
And Ivan Verbetic, who uh, I think was uh, faulted by Coach Dave Buss down at the other end for not receiving that pass from Craig Lack, comes out. But they take Ivan out sometimes for a very quick rest and then get him back in there. They'll do the same with Ozell Jones for Fullerton. Jones, 46% at the free throw line. Averaging 10.3 points a game. And he's the number one rebounder for the Titans. Nine boards per game. 6-4 Long Beach. Titans have now made one out of four at the free throw line, and it's a 6-5 lead for Cal State Long Beach and a timeout here at Fullerton, California. We've played about four minutes, and it's a 6-5 lead for the 49ers. He wants to cash a check. I'll need a credit card, two IDs, birth certificate, signature voucher, and a note from your mother or wife. Hey, wait a minute. This is an out-of-state check. He wants to cash an out-of-state check? <laughs> no problem. Here comes the money market. At the money market, no ID is required. We'll cash tax returns, out-of-state, two-party checks, insurance drafts, anything. Instant cash seven days a week, including evenings and weekends. Call 971-CASH. The money market. Money market. Long Beach State is shooting 1,000% from the floor. Or to be more correct, Jody Gardner is 1,000. Three out of three. All the points for Long Beach. 6-5 lead for the 49ers. Mike, one thing that concerns me a little bit about Fullerton State is I remember them last year as a team that liked to run and push the fast break more often. It just seems, doesn't seem like they're doing it this year. And there's Jody Gardner. I think this game right now is going at the kind of the pace up and down that Long Beach State likes. I don't think they want to get into a, a track meet type of game with Fullerton. Ball punched away by Ozell, and it's going to be chased down by Washington, doing a good job of screening Ozell out of there. Make sure the ball went out of bounds. Inbounding will be John Washington, a 6'7 junior, as Dave Buss shouts out instructions. 6-5, Long Beach. Now they got 15 seconds on the shot clock as we got a kind of a trapping zone here by Fullerton that's gonna oh, they call confusing. traveling. Traveling is the call. Well Long Beach really never got into any offense at all. There's the offense, whatever that means, the closed fist by George McCorn for the Titans. We've gone almost five minutes, and Gardner has the only points for the 49ers. Outside is Kevin Henderson. Inside is Jones. Knocked away by Washington, and Ricky Smith picks it up for Long Beach. Oh. Bad pass from Smith, and Henderson comes up with it. He is bumped by Darrell Adams, and it'll be out of bounds to Long Beach. Here comes Singleton in for Long Beach State. He will replace Ricky Smith. Vince Singleton, 6'3", senior from Memphis, Tennessee. Singleton off to Jody Gardner. Gardner's been the only offense so far for Long Beach. Washington will try the shot. Now that's a soft touch. A three-point lead for Long Beach, 8-5. Ozell Jones, Kevin Henderson. Black is on Davis. Singleton taking Leon now. Jones with it. Wanted to jam it and has to settle for a bank shot. Good job by Ozell Jones. And, and we were talking at the start of the show about Leon Wood and his shot selection. You know, Leon is so talented, he can get a shot anytime, but he still, I think, has to be careful in which shots he takes. 
They're going to give him the basket. That's Vince Singleton. And it's a 10 7 foul. lead. And it's an offensive foul on Singleton. Leon Wood trying to draw another one. There he releases it, and then he comes down with the offensive foul. And they say the man had defensive position before he went airborne, so it was, in fact, an offensive foul. Davis, Neal, and Henderson. Now, that's the kind of shot Leon Wood can hit. It looks like it might have been partially blocked right there. Leon is 0 for 3. Verbetic with the rebound for Long Beach. A three-point lead for Long Beach State. Darrell Adams sees a little daylight, and it's twice wanted away by Neal. The 49ers have it right back. Gardner will pull up and take it and hit it. Gardner with eight points. Jody Gardner. 12-7 lead for Long Beach. Being the tall guard that Gardner is, he's usually matched up against another tall guard. Sometimes he's got a little bit too much quickness. He shot that basketball quickly before the defense could come out to him. There's Leon. Now he's finally broke the drought. And he is fouled to boot. So Leon Wood will try to make it a three-point play. The score now, 12-9, Long Beach. The shot was good, but look at the pass right in there by Tony Neal. He got it through him just perfectly at the right time. Leon didn't have to take any dribbles. Verbetti committed the foul. Leon off to a slow start. And Fullerton, one for five at the free throw line. Here comes Leon in the middle. A 12-9 lead for Long Beach. He did the right thing there. Long Beach did a real good job of getting back on defense. There was no fast break opportunity. Ozell has to kick it right back out to Davis, who will take the shot. Gary Davis hasn't really been shooting all that well in the last couple of weeks, so they need that outside shooting. Usually he can hit that one with regularity. Fullerton playing here in their home court. Titan Jim down by one. Darrell Adams looking for Jody Gardner, cutting along the baseline, traveling on Vince Singleton. Bob Sidoff, the referee, making the call. Long Beach has committed four turnovers, which is not at all pleasing to Dave Buss. Well, he doesn't think it's all his team's fault as the official Bob Sidoff goes right in front of him. Twelve minutes left in the first half. Jones has it punched away by Lack, and he stepped over the line. It'll be out of bounds to Fullerton State, but first we'll get a timeout. Here in Orange County, 11.44 left in the first half. A one-point lead for Long Beach State over Fullerton. A cargo plane was flying at 18,000 feet when the door opened and a 400-pound spit-up piano disembarked. Mr. and Mrs. Winnegar were deep in sleep when the spinet made an unauthorized landing. Fortunately, they had Sentry Plane Talk homeowners insurance, which clearly stated they were protected from fire, theft, storms, and flying pianos. If you own a home, call Sentry, where all's well, even when all isn't. Connell Chevrolet, Southern California's leading Chevrolet dealer, where you can save big money on the 84 Camaro, America's most sought-after sports car. From now until March 15, Connell Chevrolet has the entire line of new Camaros at incredible savings, with 80 in stock and 60 on the way, featuring the all-new 84 Berlinetta with electronic dash. Bring in your used car for high trade-in dollars at Connell Chevrolet, 2828 Harbor Boulevard in Costa Mesa. Beach shooting 75 percent not too many shots just eight but they've made the most of them and especially Jody Gardner he has eight of the 12 points for Long Beach well there's Tuffy Tuffy the Titan and prior to the game Lynn and I were presented with a Fullerton State coaches shirt so what sport will you take Lynn yeah they said we can have any uh, sport we want uh, anything as long as it's a women's sport 
<laughs> we have to coach the teams, but there is one restriction from the stand. That's no fun. Ooh, we got a lot of people doing that tonight. Yes, indeed. We thank the folks here at uh, Fullerton for their kind comments. A 12-11 lead for Long Beach. Henderson being bothered by Craig Lack. They keep switching their defenses in a zone now. That would have been a three-pointer if uh, last year if Leon had been able to make that shot. It was about 25 feet out. John Washington back over to Lack. Craig Lack. Lack uh, didn't play Thursday night. Had a bad knee, and he was a question mark this morning, but looked good in the warm-ups, and Dave Busses, he's going to play, and play indeed he is. 14 to 11, Long Beach. I think it's a good move to go to a zone defense if you're Long Beach. Because Fullerton is cold from the outside, make him try to shoot the outside shot. Try to clog the middle. Don't let the ball get in there. Davis from the corner. Well, that'll loosen up a zone in a hurry. I'll say. Fullerton has not led tonight. Down by one at the present time, 14-13. Craig Lack will try to make it two in a row. Jody Gardner misses on the tip, and a pushing foul called on Ozell Jones. Both Jones went down, and so did Gardner. Foul on Jones. Well, Gardner doesn't have the height of some of the guys in there, so he knew he had only one chance at it, so he tapped it real quickly with his left hand. That was the one chance he had. He didn't get it done. Ozell actually probably deflected it some, but Ozell also went over the top of Gardner. Now, Gardner was appealing to Fred Carbone, one of the officials, saying, wait a minute, I was in the in the process of trying to tip it in. I should get two shots. Depends on, in the opinion of the referee, whether it was a control tap or not. He said no, so it's out of bounds at the side to Long Beach. 49ers lead it, 14-13. Daryl Adams, Craig Lack, into John Washington. Little five-foot shot. Leon in the middle. Once again, Long Beach doing a pretty good job getting back on defense, stopping any fast break chance. In the corner is Gary Davis. He's hit one from each side so far. Henderson, 20, by, uh, 20 feet out. Grabbed off by Lack. Gardner volleyballs it away. Oh, a collision between Gardner and Kevin Henderson, and Gardner is hurt. It was like... A wide receiver going downfield and a defensive back making contact with him. That was a head-on collision. Foul on Kevin Henderson. And, and it's one of those plays where you know it's coming, too, but if you want to get to the ball, you're going to have to take the collide. He tapped it, and <laughs> it's the jockeying for position. Now, Gardner knows he's coming into a head-on collision, Ooh. and he knew he wasn't going to be able to avoid it. But he wanted to get the ball. George Yezbak into the lineup for Fullerton, replacing Leon Wood. Leon on the bench now, nine minutes and 20 seconds, still halftime. A 14-13 lead for Long Beach. Jody Gardner pointing out the blood on his arm, saying, hey, you got to call a foul. i got blood here. Craig Lack into Daryl Adams. Adams all alone. Scores with the left hand. Good. He threw the little quick fake first, and yet at the same time, he didn't travel. Again, Long Beach with a three-point lead. Yesbeck, Henderson. Davis back over to George Yesbeck. Henderson makes a little contact with Lack. Davis tries a 20-footer. Gary Davis. So with Leon Wood on the bench, and Leon not off to a good start, Gary Davis picking up the slack for Fullerton. Six points for Davis. Gardner's missed shot, rebounded by Tony Neal. Neal averaging almost nine rebounds per game himself. Yesbeck with it. Off to Henderson. 16-15 lead, Long Beach. Almost a steal by Singleton. Davis over in the corner, back to George Yesbeck. Yesbeck's going to take a rare shot for him. 
Yezbeck gives Fullerton its first lead in the game, 17-16, with eight minutes left in the first half. Yeah, you know, some people would say, oh, gosh, he's as good as Leon Wood. But, you know, the defense is going to give him a different shot from a different range than they would Leon Wood. That's only the tenth shot of the season, of the season for Yezbeck. 17-16 Fullerton. Gardner's miss, rebounded by Neal. Yezbeck in the middle. There's Henderson underneath. Singleton with it for Long Beach. John Washington, Singleton, Lack. And it goes to Darrell Adams. Traveling on Adams. Adams just with a sarcastic grin in his face. Said, Wait a minute, I was hammered. Five turnovers by Long Beach, and with a little over seven minutes left in the first half, a timeout at Titan Gym in Fullerton with the Titans up by one. Cal State Fullerton, considered a gem in the California education system, is located in the heart of Southern California and serves more than 23,000 students. Offering majors and fields, ranging from business and science to the arts and humanities, it has the largest internship program on the West Coast. And in 1984, the world comes to Cal State Fullerton as the university hosts the team handball competition in the Summer Olympic Games. Cal State Fullerton. Who wants to cash a check? I'll need a credit card, two IDs, birth certificate, signature voucher, and a note from your mother or wife. Hey, wait a minute. This is an out-of-state check. Who wants to cash an out-of-state check? <laughs> No problem. Here comes the money market. At the money market, no ID is required. We'll cash tax returns, out-of-state, two-party checks, insurance drafts, anything. Instant cash seven days a week, including evenings and weekends. Call 971-CASH. The money market. Money market. As you look at the turnover stats, Johnny Wilkes is back into the Fullerton lineup, and so is Ricky Smith for Long Beach. Dennis Manishin handling our statistics tonight. Fullerton will go with Ozell Jones, Johnny Wilkes, Gary Davis, George Yesbeck, and uh, Tony Neal. Leon Wood is still on the bench. He went out about two minutes ago. Fullerton leading 17-16 on the bucket by George Yesbeck. Only his 10th shot, and this is 10th shot of the season. This is the 27th game. Let's see if he gets greedy and wants to take another one. Sure look good in the one that he got down. Davis. Davis with eight points. Yeah, his shooting looks very good tonight, and some of them have been pretty far out. Three-point lead for Fullerton over Long Beach. <laughs> Singleton at the side, puts it in. Long Beach down by one after the bucket by the 6'3 senior, Vince Singleton. Singleton, since he got into the game, has contributed four points. Wilkes off to Davis. He's had the hot hand. Yesbeck has it for the Titans. George Yesbeck, 6'2 junior, La Mirada. Pretty good. The Titans uh, want to get it inside the yes, Jones. They do. But they've got good defense on Ozell. Washington is shadowing him now because Ivan Verbetic is on the Long Beach bench. Inside to Neal, knocked away from him, and we're going to get a foul against Long Beach. Washington committed the foul. Leon Wood will come back in for Fullerton. Wilkes will go out, and Gary Moeller comes in for Ozell Jones. At the free throw line, Tony Neal. Neal is shooting only 37% at the free throw line, and PCAA play, it's only 22%. He has made seven out of 33 in the conference. 
Well, they've, they've tried to do a few things. They try to get the one foot way back, and they try to get him in a squat, and then go straight up for the shot. It looks a little bit better. The result's not any better, though. But the Titans are one out of seven at the free throw line. One out of seven. And yet Fullerton's ahead by one. So Dave Buss, Long Beach team, will bring it up. By the way, Dave is no relation to Jerry Buss, the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers and Kings. The Dave Buss is from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Good play by Tony Neal. He does have his trouble at the free throw line, but he leads the team in steals, in block shots, and he's a bear rebounding, averaging 8.6 rebounds a game. Leon, bang. Leon Wood now with six points, three-point lead built up again by Fullerton. Ricky Smith in there to run the offense on the outside. Jody Gardner is on the bench. They will not allow that basket by Daryl Adams. The they're saying it occurred before the shot. They say are saying it is before the shot. I'm not so sure. Good move inside. Well, they said it was right when he first got the ball. That's when they called it. Leon says, come on. I had my hand on the ball. The players just don't realize, well, maybe you do have your hand on the ball, but you might be making contact elsewhere. And anytime you reach in, it's more than likely they're going to call a foul. Tony Neal rebounding the missed shot by Vince Singleton. Neal has three boards already. 21-18 lead. Fullerton State over Long Beach. Yesbeck. Leon traveling. Leon rarely protests on a traveling call, it seems like. Just roll the ball right over to the official. Maybe he feels he travels a lot and never gets away with it. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> Jody Gardner back in for Long Beach. Lack comes out. I would guess that Jody would play a forward now. Yep, he's under the basket right now. Jody at the side. Misses that one. The ball to Leon Wood. Yeah, these are the small lineups now. We've got Verbetic on the bench, the big man for Long Beach State. you got Ozell Jones on the bench for Fullerton. Henderson. Kevin Henderson. A uh, sophomore from Carson. Bullerton keeps shooting very well from the outside. Yet if I were Long Beach, I'd stay with that zone maybe a little bit longer just to see if they can stay that hot. Five-point lead for Fullerton. Inside to Daryl Adams of Long Beach. The foul committed by George Yesbeck. Ozell Jones back in for the Titans. He will replace Gary Moeller. And there's a timeout as we will look at that play one more time. Once again, you're reaching in with your hands on defense there, and they nab him for a foul. We're under four minutes still to be played here in the first half. Fullerton on top over Long Beach State. Today, they moved me in. Tonight, we're moving out. Turn it loose, turn it loose, turn it loose tonight. Coors Light, Coors Light, turn it loose tonight. Don't hold back. Turn it loose tonight. You have to feel when you're moving around. Cause light is the one that won't slow you down. Cause light. Turn it loose. Don't slow down. Turn it loose. Test drive the new Nissan 300ZX, the car that inspired major motion. The 300ZX is one of a handful of cars so well conceived and executed that it's set a standard against which other cars are measured. Anaheim Datsun has a full line of 300ZX models, colors, and equipment to satisfy you. That's Anaheim Datsun at 1354 South Anaheim Boulevard in Anaheim. When these two teams last met, Fullerton was 13 and 2, 4 and 0 in the league. And the Titans were coming off a big, big victory over Fresno State up at Southern Arena in Fresno. 
But then the next time out, they had to play down at Long Beach. The 49ers won in four overtimes, 52-50 on a 30-foot shot by Jody Gardner, and Fullerton hasn't been the same since. They played that game without Tony Neal. Fullerton did, and I'm sure they would have told you that had he been healthy that night, they would have won the game. But uh, you are right. That was a turning point in their season. It's funny that it came on a win up at Fresno. Since that time, the Titans have lost eight out of their last 11. They've sure lost a lot of close games. Four overtime games. Shot by Craig Lack. And that pulls Long Beach to within three. Fullerton 23 to Long Beach 20. Verbetic has been on the bench a long time for Long Beach. Three fouls, no points for Ivan Verbetic. Yeah, we'll see him in the second half then. Shot by Ozell Jones. Kind of a line drive hook by the 6'11 senior. Ozell is from Long Beach, went to Poly High. Five point lead now for Fullerton. Washington almost loses it. Off to Jody Gardner. He pumps a 22 footer. Singleton does a tight roll back. Whoop. No, he didn't do the act. He started to, but he I, stepped over the line. Yeah, he fell if it was a tight roll back. Maybe there was a net underneath. 25 20, the Titans. Leon Wood off to Kevin Henderson. Neal. Henderson with it. Oh, another collision between Gardner and Henderson. The same two that collided in the middle of the court about five minutes ago. That's a tough call. A real tough call for the official to make. Both players were seemingly going for the ball. Both seem to have about the same momentum. The ball bounces way out. Gardner has to jump out after the ball. And Henderson's coming in. I don't know. Fullerton's had a tough time at the free throw line. One out of seven. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> 26 to 20. And yet, Fullerton has a six-point lead. Henderson shooting 53% from the floor in addition to 53% from the line. 27 to 20 now as Fullerton goes up by seven. Biggest lead in the game. Singleton. Don Washington off to Gardner. Knocked away from Jody. Touched last by Henderson. Henderson really dogging Gardner. And the foul called on Henderson. Oh, he was doing a good job out there. He just used his hands a little bit too much. But I like the enthusiasm that he was playing it with out there. And he was sliding well laterally. That's three fouls on Kevin Henderson. And it causes George McCorn to grimace. Jody Gardner will go to the line. I think Coach uh, George McCorn's upset because there's just no reason to foul out there at that point. And then on top of it, you're sending an excellent free throw. Well, normally an excellent free throw shooter to the line. Lack underneath, and the foul will be against Tony Neal. The free throw that was just missed by Gardner was the first time tonight that Long Beach has been at the line. Looking at it one more time, there's the miss. Now, now you're going to see Tony Neal just get a little bit carried away here on trying to swat the ball. He got frustrated he couldn't get a hold of it, so he says, no way am I going to let someone else shoot it. He tried to block it twice, and he did. Craig Lack is a 67% free throw shooter. Neither team is going to go to the Hall of Fame of free throw shooting from what they've demonstrated so far. 148 left in this half. 27-20, Fullerton State. Black misses both of those. So now Long Beach is 0 for 3 at the line. It'll be out of bounds to the Titans. Long Beach 0 for 3. And Fullerton 3 out of 9. So we've had 12 free throws and only three of them been made by the combined uh, totals. 27 to 20, Fullerton. Singleton out in front in that Long Beach zone. And you know, looking ahead to the second half, I think when they get Ivan Verbetic in there, they'll have to stay in the zone defense with him with three fouls. Darnell Fletcher. 
Rebounded by Vince Singleton. Darrell Adams, and he is fouled. It's on Leon Wood, his second. And Yezbeck back in for the Titans. He replaces Darnell Fletcher. Fletcher hardly broke a sweat. I was just going to say, we didn't get to see much of old Darnell in there. I thought he was going to take Leon Wood out. Generally, when Yezbeck comes in, he uh, Leon does go off. Darrell Adams. And Long Beach is over for 4 at the free throw line. I guess it's contagious. Yeah, sometimes it is. Fullerton 27, Long Beach 20. Mike Walden and Lynn Shackelford from Fullerton, California. This will be our last Monday night PCA game. Davis has his shot rejected by Washington, and they call goaltending on John Washington. That brings Dave Buss off, off the Long Beach bench. The basket is credited to Gary Davis. Davis with 10 as Buss still is chewing on the officials. A 29-20 lead for Fullerton. <laughs> Dave Buss is yelling out one four. Yeah, one, and, four. And, and Jody Gardner keeps yelling back at him, one shot, you want us to take one shot? And he keeps yelling back one four, one four. They are gonna uh, apparently take one shot. And you're down by nine, you know, you don't, you could just put it up in a hurry and uh, hope that maybe the other team will come down and put it up in a hurry too. And it's rebounded by Yezbeck and look who gets it, Singleton. And gently drops it through the net as the half is over. So that was kind of a key bucket there for Long Beach. Getting the roll of the ball and Singleton scoring underneath. At halftime from Fullerton, the Titans from Fullerton State, coached by George McCorn, 29, and Long Beach State, 22. This portion of today's game is brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for everyone who's got the heart and courage to go the distance. <laughs> Distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Watch NCAA Basketball live this Wednesday at 5 p.m. here on Channel 56. It's Indiana versus Purdue. Don't miss exciting NCAA Basketball live, Indiana versus Purdue, right here on Channel 56. Although Long Beach is trailing by seven here at halftime, the 49ers started out very well, thanks to Jody Gardner, who made the first six points for Long Beach State. And Long Beach built up a five-point lead at 12 to seven, but then Fullerton kept creeping back in, and they went out in front for the first time, 17-16, with eight minutes to play in the half on a field goal by George Yesbeck, who was filling in for Leon Wood. And since that time, Fullerton has been able to add to its lead, and the Titans now up by seven at halftime, 29 to 22. More PCAA basketball after these messages from your local stations. Hi friends, Ralph Williams for Wilson Ford on Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach. Between now and February 29th, what a sale. Take advantage of the, I urge you to take advantage. Brand new 84 Temple, every one of them, and they will be sold between now and February 29th, $99 over Ford factory invoice, which means prices start at 84 Temples of $6,831. Remember, Temples, $99 over Ford factory invoice. SBOs, our huge entire selection and stock of 84 SBOs between now and February 29th, midnight, $99 over Ford factory invoice. Listen carefully, talk about the Thunderbirds. Brand new 84 Ford Thunderbirds, every one of them, $99 over Ford factory invoice. 
And prices start here at Wilson Ford at $8,899. Remember, invoice is the amount that the manufacturer draws a draft on us at the time we buy the automobile. There's the phone number, 714-842-6611. One phone call could save you hundreds of dollars. Open every night till 11, including Sunday. That's Wilson Ford right here on Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach in Orange County. Hi, I'm Bob Builder, sports director. And if you're keeping a ratings diary, I'd like to remind you that you're watching KDOC, Channel 56, my station. Hello again, everybody. Mike Walden and Lynn Shackelford with you at halftime from Fullerton. The Titans leading 29 to 22 over Long Beach. Now, it's a key game for Long Beach, and I say that because a victory tonight by the 49ers would tie them with Fullerton for sixth place in the PCAA. And even though they would be tied for sixth place, Long Beach actually would be in sixth because that would give Long Beach two victories during the regular season over Fullerton. Do you understand that? I sure do. Because if the teams have identical records, you have a tie-breaking system, and you go to see how they did against each yes. other in regular season. And the point being that everyone is jockeying for positions right. with the uh, tournament starting here uh, a week from well, Thursday at the Forum. For instance, mathematically, uh, Long Beach could finish anywhere from fifth to eighth place in the conference still. Of course, UNLV has won the championship, so UNLV would be number one in the PCAA when the postseason tournament starts and, and, and on the 8th of March. Everyone's jockeying to try to avoid having to play UNLV in that first game in the tournament. But right now, if the tournament were to be held tomorrow, it would be UNLV against San Jose State, the Spartans in 8th place in the PCAA. That's the way you do it. You're going, they're seated 1 through 8. 1 plays 8, and then as you can see there, if you finish 2nd, you play the 7th seeded team, and that would be Irvine against Long Beach State. Again, if this, uh, the season were to end tomorrow, based on their records right now. Then it would be Fresno State, who currently is in third place against Fullerton, and Utah State versus New Mexico State. Fresno State, by the way, still has an opportunity sure. to finish in second place. Right now, UC Irvine is in the number two slot at 12 and four. The Anteaters have two games this weekend, starting with Thursday night at Crawford Hall against UNLV. Yeah, should they lose that, should Fresno State win all their games, then Fresno State will finish in second place. And again, that's important because looking ahead, then you would not have to play the number one seeded team if you're the second seeded team until the finals of the tournament. I wonder how UNLV is going to play that game Thursday night at Irvine. And I say that because the running Rebels have an important Saturday afternoon date against Oklahoma, the Big Eight champion at Norman, Oklahoma. Now, yeah, that's important too. UNLV has already won the league. Do they concentrate all of their efforts this week on Oklahoma or do they divide it? Just how do they play it? That's they, a good question. They divide it. Because you know Irvine's going to play them hard. They're going to come out and play a very tough game. So you, you, I think you give it equal importance. You've got to give your conference game some importance. And yet, at the other hand, you've got you to play Oklahoma tough because they're one of the best teams in the country and thinking ahead to where you're going to be seated in the NCAA tournament. That's UNLV's right. going to be in it. They have a computer system based on how you did not only in your conference but outside your conference. And, and they, they weigh the uh, top teams or the tough games you play uh, more heavily. Well, of course... Everybody is trying to get in the good position for the PCAA tournament that starts next Thursday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Four games on March the 8th at 2 o'clock and at 4 o'clock, then 7 to 9 in the evening. The semifinals on Friday and the championship game, 2 o'clock on Sunday. For all of the ticket information, there is the number to call. Area code 213-480-3232. And this is not just hype, but boy, there is great interest in this upcoming tournament. Well, what's fun about it is you've got people coming from all over the West to come and see the game. I get as much a kick out of seeing the red wave come down from Fresno, and they'll all be dressed in red, and all the people from Las Vegas will be coming over dressed in red, and they get a pretty good turnout from Utah State. We have touched briefly on the games coming up on Thursday night, and we'll touch on those a little bit later on. As we remind you, we'll have more halftime activities right after these messages. The second half of today's game is brought to you by Coors. Now the best of the Rockies is yours. The clean, fresh taste of Coors coming through from the Adolph Coors Company, Golden, Colorado. There's only one thing Rachel Stevens does well. Starting a boat isn't it. Stopping a boat isn't it either. What Rachel does well is drive. 
So well, she qualifies for Sentry Plain Talk Car Insurance, which rewards good drivers with good rates. So good, she has money to help pay for flying lessons. If you're a good driver, call Sentry, where all's well, even when all isn't. He wants to cash a check. I'll need a credit card, two IDs, birth certificate, signature voucher, and a note from your mother or wife. Hey, wait a minute. This is an out-of-state check. He wants to cash an out-of-state check? <laughs> no problem. Here comes the money market. At the money market, no ID is required. We'll cash tax returns, out-of-state, two-party checks, insurance drafts, anything. Instant cash seven days a week, including evenings and weekends. Call 971-CASH. The money market. Money market. I told you that we would touch in more detail on the games coming up around the PCAA Thursday night. We've talked about UNLV and UC Irvine. There will be three other conference games on Thursday night, March the 1st. Fresno State will be at San Jose State. New Mexico State, Fullerton State right here at Titan Gym, the last home game for Leon Wood. And Long Beach State will be up at UCSB. And there is one game on Wednesday night. It'll be the final game for the Aggies of Utah State. They'll be on the road. Utah State at UOP Wednesday night, February the 29th. More halftime activities following these messages from our local station. Join us on April 28th as Sitmar entices you to explore the exotic world of sugar-sanded beaches that embrace the sapphire blue waters of the Caribbean. You'll visit the area's most popular ports like St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands, where you'll experience the finest duty-free port in the Caribbean. San Juan, Puerto Rico, the Caribbean's most modern capital, rich in fine restaurants, hotels, and casinos. And Nassau in the Bahamas, with its enchanting countryside and British culture. Experience the luxury, relaxation, and adventure of the seven-day Sitmar cruise. For only $1,095, you get airfare, a spacious cabin, a host of shipboard activities, top entertainment, and four exquisite meals per day. So call now and reserve your cruise. Mention Channel 56 and you'll receive a special Bon Voyage gift for your cruise. That's only at Qualified Travel, 714-635-7777 or 800-821-6826. You're watching KDOC-TV, Channel 56, Anaheim. As we swing into the final week of the regular Pacific Coast Athletic Association basketball season, there's a lot of jockeying for high positions in the league because of the postseason tournament, which starts on Thursday, a week from Thursday, March 8th at the Forum. Now, here's what happened around the PCAA this past weekend. Thursday night, Long Beach moved back into its gym because of a conflict with another event at the Long Beach Arena. And the 49ers like to go back to the old gym. They beat UOP by 10. And Cardale Taylor had the game of his young life. Yeah, he really liked it, scoring 18 points in the first half, 23 in the contest, all off the bench. Ivan Verbetic added 16 for Long Beach. Fresno State won on the road at Las Cruces, beating New Mexico State 63-54. Fullerton State took UNLV into overtime at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, but the Rebels won it 74-62. Utah State closed out its home schedule with an eight-point win over San Jose State. UC Irvine had a close call at home, but got by UCSB 58 to 56. Yet the Gauchos had six more field goals than UCI and out-rebounded the Anteaters by 16. Saturday afternoon, our TV game, Fresno State whipped Utah State 83 to 62. Well, Fresno State has now won four straight. They may be the hottest team in the conference and maybe one of the best teams on the West Coast, if not the best, the way they're playing right now. Saturday night, New Mexico State got 30 points from Steve Coulter and needed all 30 to edge winless UOP 70 to 68. 
Yesterday afternoon, the five UNLV seniors finished their season in front of the Las Vegas fans and bowed out in style with a 28-point route of UCSB. After losing to Fresno State and then just winning in overtime against Fullerton, it was a relaxed and a much-needed easy win, I think, for UNLV to kind of regain their confidence and get their momentum going again. That's right, because the Rebels had lost to Fresno State a week ago and then were carried into overtime Thursday night, so they needed that big victory. 16 and 1 and the uh, running rebels of Jerry Tarkanian have won the PCAA for the second year in a row. The battle is for second place between UC Irvine and Fresno State. Utah State has only one conference game left and that is Wednesday night. And the rest of the standings in the PCAA you can see why this game is so important. Fullerton State and Long Beach battling there for the number six spot. Our PCAA Player of the Week honors goes to Mitch Arnold, the 6'4 senior from Watson, Illinois. Arnold has really played outstanding basketball for the Bulldogs, and he was never better than he was Saturday in the first half against Utah State. He hit um, 7 out of 10 in the contest in that game, and going back to Thursday night against New Mexico State, he was 6 of 7 from the floor there. So he had 28 points in the two games. And you know he didn't have any turnovers in the contest against Utah State. A good outside shooter, and now they're looking to him to be their playmaker more as well. Mitch Arnold is quite often overshadowed by the book in forwards, Ron Anderson, and also Bernard Thompson. But Arnold really has had himself some great games for Fresno State. Mitch Arnold, our PCAA Player of the Week. We'll be back with the start of the second half of tonight's game right after these messages from your local stations. Hi friends, Ralph Williams for Wilson Ford Sales on Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach. If you live in Orange County, pay us a visit, particularly between now and February 29th at midnight. If you live in Los Angeles, Kern County, San Bernardino County, Ventura County, pay us a visit. Word is out, Wilson Ford, our biggest sale ever. Every 1984 Ford Thunderbird will be sold between now and February 29th at midnight at $99 over Ford factory invoice. Just $99 over Ford factory invoice. Prices start on 84 Ford Thunderbirds. That's $99 over Ford factory invoice at $8,899. Remember, invoice is the price that the manufacturer charges us for the automobile at the time. That's what the invoice is for. And that's what you pay, $99 over Ford factory invoice. We're as near as your nearest freeway. Remember, we're open every day, Monday through Sunday, till 11 at night. I urge you, before you buy an automobile from any dealer, pay us a visit between now and February 29th at midnight. Take your nearest freeway to Wilson Ford Sales right here on Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach. We're right here in Orange County. The Olympic spirit and Niccolo. Niccolo, something speak for themselves. Niccolo. Niccolo, one smooth and mellow taste tells you all you need to know. Niccolo, some things speak for themselves. Enter the world of luxury. Sail away on a princess cruise. Enjoy award-winning cuisine, dazzling entertainment, and the most fascinating ports of call. Come along to the colorful Caribbean, or cruise with the pioneers to Alaska or the spectacular Panama Canal. Sail away to Acapulco and the sun-soaked Mexican Riviera. On a princess, the most exciting vacations in the world are waiting for you. Call your travel agent today. We're getting ready to start playing the second half, I guess, and I say that because Long Beach isn't back on the court yet. Bulletin Titans are ready to go, but the 49ers from Long Beach haven't made a reappearance. So we'll just look at the stats. Shooting, uh, about the same, but look at that free throw total. 0 for 4, Long Beach, 3 for 9 for Fullerton, and a big rebound advantage for the Tigers, 20 to 12. Yeah, thanks to, uh, in part, eight rebounds by Tony Neal for Fullerton, doing a good job in there. Ben Singleton, a guard, had five for Long Beach. Now the Long Beach 49ers are back in the court. I think even the officials were getting concerned. They're going to give them two minutes to warm. I don't know why they were late getting out to start this half, but yeah. late they are. And well, 
Yeah, the only thing I can think, Mike, is that maybe uh, you're supposed to get a warning, you know, two, four, five minutes, and uh, to come back out onto the court, and maybe they were not given that warning. Jody Gardner leads the scoring for the 49ers, eight points, and he had uh, those eight in the first three minutes of action. But a big stat there, well, I'll get back to that as you look at the Titans uh, scoring. Gary Davis is five out of seven from the field for 10 points to lead the way. Leon Wood, only six points. Leon, three baskets in nine shots. Tony Neal did not score, so you don't see his name listed there, but Neal had eight rebounds, and that's the difference in the rebound battle. Fullerton State, 20 rebounds to 12 for Long Beach. Now, there is one key individual stat for Long Beach as the 49ers continue to warm up. Ivan Verbetti, yep. field goals, zero. Field goal attempts, zero. Free throws for Betty, zero. Free throw attempts, zero. Two rebounds, three personal fouls, zero points for Verbetti. And here are our scoring leaders in the PCAA. Leon Wood, as you can see, is atop the list. Steve Coulter, who had 30 last Saturday night, is in second place. Ron Anderson of Fresno State. Joni Gardner, who is in this game tonight. And then we have a little Vince Washington of Utah State. Mostly little guys. Let's see, Anderson's the only uh, forward. The other are all guards. And yet, maybe the most dominating player in the conference this year, or at least intimidating, would have to be Richie Adams of UNLV. Not among the scoring leaders, or right among the top, anyway. Remember the PCAA tournament starting March the 8th. You can get all of your ticket information by calling that number. Dave Buss has notified us that he did not get any notification in the locker room, so he didn't know when they were to be back on the court. You yeah, call that not, shot, Len. Yeah, you're always supposed to come and have someone knock on your door and tell you. Some, some fancy locker rooms have an intercom system, but uh, it's not his fault if they didn't come and tell him, and rightfully, he was given that two minutes. So the officials allowed him two minutes to warm up. The two minutes have expired, and we're ready to go into the second half. Long Beach down by 7, 29, 22. Leon Wood will be in the lineup for the Fullerton Titans. Number 32 is Gary Davis. McCorn is going to call him over for another conference. Kevin Henderson, Ozell Jones, Tony Neal. And for Long Beach, looks like Vince Singleton is going to be in there. He's got his warm-up jacket off. Yep, Vince Singleton, Craig Lack, Daryl Adams, Ivan Verbetti, no points and three fouls, and Jody Gardner. Buss had quite a record at uh, University of Wisconsin, Green Bay. That he did, and then as you uh, mentioned earlier, went over to UNLV as an assistant under Jerry Tarkanian. That's unusual to be a head coach for 13 years, then become an assistant, and then another uh, head coach after that. A little bit. But uh, some, maybe some people do anything to get out of the snow of Wisconsin. Of course, on the other hand, he was moving up in division uh, from a division two to a division one as well. Craig Lack was fouled as he moved alongside the lane. Kevin Henderson got it. First foul and they have. And right away, George McCorn will get Wilkes into the game. Johnny Wilkes. He will replace Kevin Henderson, who just picked up his fourth personal. Comes in to Jody Gardner. Long Beach down by seven, 29, 22, in the first 20 seconds of action here in the second half. Ivan Verbetti kicks it out to Jody Gardner. Long Beach is going to win this game. Verbetti's got to have a big second half. Verbetti tried to pass down. Two men were fronting him, and as a result, it was a bad pass. Leon Wood rifles it into Davis. Ozell Jones misses the five-footer, but it is batted in by, I think, Tony Neal. Yep. 31-22. Nine-point lead now for Fullerton State. Ivan Verbetti got into foul trouble in the first 10 minutes and had to sit down. Long Beach just having no success at all, getting it into the middle to the 6'11 sophomore. And here is a couple of elbows being thrown by Ozell Jones and Ivan Verbetti, and I think they're going to nail Jones. 
Jones says, wait a minute, I got an elbow. Yeah, I retaliated, and generally it happens when one guy retaliates, he's the one that gets called. Well, there's the pushing with Jones. Now, and Jones. There's Verbetti. Oh, there's Verbetti. So it's 31-22, Fullerton. Ivan's got to watch it because he's got three fouls. Oh, got away with that one because it was on Jones. Underneath, off the fingertips of Daryl Adams. And all Dave Buss can do is just stand on the sidelines and put his hands on his waist. Ten Long Beach turnovers. Fullerton has committed only four. George Yesbeck replaces Leon Wood. Wonder if Leon is not feeling well tonight. Three out of nine from the floor. He had some problem with wisdom teeth back in December, had four of them removed, and that caused him not to play up to par right around Christmas time. A jump shot by Davis rings the bell. 33-22. And 11-point lead, the biggest margin for Fullerton. 12 points for Gary Davis. So Leon not scoring in the 20s yet in this game, but Davis is picking up the slack. Good idea. Long Beach called that timeout. They really needed it. They're uh, in a position here where they could get blown out, and they need to make some changes. George McQuarren's Fullerton State team up by 11 over Long Beach here in the second half from Titan Gym. When it comes time to kick up your heels, you want a beer that won't slow you down. Turn it loose, turn it loose, turn it loose tonight. Coors Light, Coors Light, turn it loose tonight. Don't hold back, don't hold back. Turn it loose tonight. Coors Light. Beer after beer when you're moving around. Coors Light is the one that won't slow you down. Coors Light. We call this learning environment California State University, Long Beach. In this learning environment, students come first. And through academic excellence and superior teaching by a distinguished faculty, we encourage them to develop the art of living. California State University, Long Beach. The learning environment where adults of all ages are making a wise investment in themselves. George McQuarren is trying to coach his team into its 17th victory in the 27th game of the season. Leon Wood is coming back into the lineup. Leon had a touch of the flu last week. Maybe it's acting up because this hasn't been a Leon Wood performance. Not looking for a shot very much. 33-22, but they haven't needed Leon. Talking about Fullerton, leading by 11. Jody Gardner misses. Another rebound for Ozell Jones to George Yesbeck. Off to Leon. Leon. That's Leon Wood that everybody remembers the last couple of years. 35-22. Inside Ivan for Betty. He was out about two feet further than he really would like to be. He likes to be in about 10. That was about a 12-foot shot for Ivan. 35-22, Long Beach. Down by 13 here to Fullerton. Staying in their zone defense is Long Beach. Uh-oh, there's a bad pass. Over and back, so it'll be out of bounds at midcourt to Long Beach. Long Beach hasn't won a game here in Titan Gym since 1975. Cardell Taylor in for the first time for Long Beach, replacing Vince Singleton. Taylor really lit up the scoreboard Thursday night. 23 points. And right away, he turns it over. I think he was thinking about the 23-point performance Thursday night. Well, yeah, they said that was one of his problems. You know, he, he came in and got a little bit greedy there. He went crazy for one half, and then he came out and uh, had poor shot selection. And... You just can't come into the game and try to do everything yourself. He had 23 points against Santa Barbara, and yet prior to that, he had scored only 44 points for the season. Davis misses underneath, gets the second chance, and makes it good. 37-22, Fullerton. 
Craig Lack over to Jody Gardner. Gardner passes underneath to Lack, tries to twist it up with a lot of English on it. One-handed rebound by Ozell Jones. Titans are running much better in this half. Well, yeah, it looks like they're looking for the fast break more. You get the impression maybe they were told that at halftime, as I indicated in the first half. I don't think that they do uh, look for it as much as maybe they should or can. They have some speed. Ozell with a little five-footer, an air ball taken off by Craig Lack. There's a five-footer. He only shot at four and a half feet, though. 37-22, Fullerton. Jody Gardner can't find the range. Neal and Adams battling for the rebound. Touch last by Adams, so it'll be out of bounds to Fullerton. Vince Singleton comes in. Craig Lack will go out. And Ricky Smith back in for Long Beach. Well, Dave Buss is at that point in the game. Uh, you know, George McCorn's going to stand pat, but Buss is at that position where he's got to start looking for a, a combination that'll work out there. And Joni Gardner says, hey, coach, we're down by 15. You can't take me up. I'm the leading scorer. Indeed he is, averaging better than 16 a game. Yeah, but he really forced that last shot. And they haven't had any production, point production, from 6'11", Ivan Verbetti. Foul trouble has plagued him. Ozell Jones out to Tony Neal. Ozell Jones fighting his way through, and the foul will be on Ivan Verbetic. That's number four on Verbetic. Long Beach hasn't scored this half, and we played four and a half minutes. So Ivan Verbetic, who has not been able to get on track offensively, and they really do need him, said, hey, I wasn't trying to do anything except avoid my man. Actually, it was a teammate of his who knocked Ozell into Ivan. That, were, that was the culprit. on Cardell Taylor. Another factor, Lynn Shackelford, is that Odell, Ozell Jones at 6'11 and 230 or so is an intimidating factor in there. Yeah, in the PCA, Ivan Verbetic really hasn't had to face anyone of his size or taller, and so he's taken a, a different look tonight when he has go, goes against Ozell Jones. Fullerton, 37, Long Beach, 22. Yesbeck inside to Ozell Jones. Tipped last by Singleton, who chases it down. Vince Singleton, good play by Vince. Long Beach hasn't scored in this half. Down 29-22 at halftime. They still have only 22 points. We played five minutes plus in this half. Ivan Verbetti shoots over Jones, still doesn't get it. The rebound snapped up by Jones. Five boards for Ozell. 37-22, Titans. Fullerton handling the ball very well. Into Tony Neal. Neal struggles, gets it right back, scores! Quite an effort by Tony Neal. 39-22. Really? Tony Neal has such strong legs that when he goes up, no one's going to stop him. When he goes after a ball, you really can't stop him either. His Neal's legs. got four points in this half. Foul on Tony Neal. Gary Moeller back in for Fullerton. He'll replace Neal. Well, he's going to come out for a well-deserved rest and a good round of applause by the fans. Good faking right there. Tony Neal just reached in on defense. Tony Neal. In the plate, Leon! Inbounding will be Daryl Adams. Cardell Taylor. Into Ivan Verbetti. Little five-footer. There's Ivan Verbetti. Finally breaks into the scoring column. 14 minutes left of the game. 39-24. First points in this half by Long Beach. And they went almost six minutes without scoring. Ozell Jones misses on the bank. A tip in by either Davis. Yep, Davis. They give it to Davis. They give it to Gary Davis. Gary Moeller, okay. 41 46 now. Cardell Taylor, nice little move. I'll tell you, he's active out there. Look at him on defense. He's all over people. With the what little time he has played this year, though, I don't know what kind of conditioning he's in. He may get a little tired playing that way. Traveling on Ozell Jones. Kevin Henderson with four fouls back in. And so is Tony Neal. He didn't have much of a rest. They have a chance now, Long Beach, to start making a run, perhaps. They can stop him a few times, and they got to keep going into Ivan Verbetic. I think he's the guy that can bring them back. They don't have a very tall lineup out there right now. 
Singleton on the drive is fouled by Gary Davis. You know, Singleton's having uh, what I think is a pretty good game. No one's going to notice it, especially if his team loses. But he had five rebounds in the first half. Led his team in that department. And he's still doing a pretty good job of rebounding. Remember, Singleton's only a guard. He's made a, a steal or two. Long Beach trails by 15. Taylor dishes it off to Singleton. Darrell Adams, Cardell Taylor again, working against that Fullerton zone. Well, I think they're going to come back to this side and try to get it into Ivan Verbetic. You can get it in from the side. Adams scoring underneath. Fred Carbone made the call underneath. Well, he's going to give him the basket and yet call an offensive foul. And I don't know if that is the proper call. Looking at it one more time. There's your contact before he releases it. Now, according to the rules, that should not have counted. The basket should not have counted if, in fact, you call an offensive foul there. Titans with a 13-point lead over Long Beach. Singleton and Henderson having their individual battle. A whirling shot by Davis doesn't drop. Brought a lot of oohs and ahs from the crowd. Down to Vince Singleton. And it drops out. Grabbed again by Daryl Adams. He's he found a combination that's really working out there. I'll tell you that. Dave Buss has. There's some quickness with that lineup he's got. And, you know, he's not doing a lot in the way of scoring, but Cardell Taylor just putting some pressure on out there on Leon Wood, who's dribbling right now. It showed some enthusiasm. I think that's uh, kind of giving a little bit of lift to the Long Beach team. They're starting to make a little bit of a run. We're down by 15. Now the deficit is 11. Almost 12 minutes left in this one. Shot oh. by Henderson. He is fouled. Singleton got him on the arm. You know, I remember that old saying by Bill Russell the first time he said he was going to tell uh, about playing Elvin Hayes. He said, you know, I'm only going to block two of your shots, but I'm not going to tell you which two. And Singleton bothered Henderson there, and he had disrupted his shot. I wish he just laid off and not committed that foul. Fullerton State with an 11-point lead over Long Beach, and we have 11.46 left from Titan Gym in Fullerton, California. Connell Chevrolet, Southern California's leading Chevrolet dealer, where you can save big money on the 84 Camaro, America's most sought-after sports car. From now until March 15, Connell Chevrolet has the entire line of new Camaros at incredible savings, with 80 in stock and 60 on the way, featuring the all-new 84 Berlinetta with electronic dash. Bring in your used car for high trade-in dollars at Connell Chevrolet 2828 Harbor Boulevard in Costa Mesa. Beach out rebounded by Fullerton in the first half and the uh, gap is widened. Key man for Fullerton has been Ozell Jones and uh, Tony Neal. At 11 point lead for the Titans, Kevin Henderson will be at the free throw line. Saturday afternoon will be down in Long Beach at the arena for Fresno State Long Beach. We'll start that telecast at 2 o'clock. Saturday, March 3rd. 42-30. Kevin Henderson has five points. He's three for five at the line. Forty-three thirty. Cardale Taylor. Ricky Smith off to Daryl Adams on the drive along the baseline. Ball is taken down by Gary Davis. Well, that was an example of a good move, and he got a good shot. He just couldn't get it home. 
43-30, Fullerton. Leon has eight points. Just one basket here in the second half. Ozell Jones missing it in eight. Not this time. And he's fouled to boot. The foul on Ricky Smith. 45-30. And again, Fullerton has a 15-point lead. Well, the rebounding uh, advantage for Fullerton starting to really show there. Look at that. Very few brown jerseys going up for the rebound. It was all Ozell Jones had the whole thing to himself. Did you notice, too, when we started the replay, Ivan Verbetic has both hands high above his head because he's playing with four fouls. Yeah, that's a good point. I still think, however, down on the offensive end, they've got to start looking for Ivan Moore. He's got that awfully nice shooting touch. He could help score some points for him in a hurry. Both teams have had their problems at the free throw line. Fullerton just 5 out of 12 after that miss by Jones. Long Beach, on the other hand, 0 for 4. Jody Gardner on the drive. Gary Davis got him. Two fouls on Davis. A 15-point lead for Fullerton State, 45 to 30. As we near the halfway point here in the second half. Cardell Taylor. Fullerton in a 2-3 zone. Almost a steal by Gary Davis. They continually look inside for Verbetic, but Jones well, well, is doing quite a job. Yeah, they're not taking a long look, though. It's just a quick look, and, uh, you know, when Ivan makes his move, he's open for a minute. They just have it at the right place at the right time. The best place to make that pass into the low post guy is from the sides. That's where you got to have the ball if you're going to get it into him. Gary Davis draws his third personal. Titan set up in the 2-3. Cardell Taylor out to Gardner. Singleton has it fly swatted by Ozell Jones. Goaltending against Jones. I'll tell you, Singleton's the bright spot for Long Beach tonight. One of the few. He really was up there high for that rebound, and that was definitely goaltending. He almost took it out of the hoop. Singleton has 10 points, the leading score for Long Beach. Jody Gardner looked like he was going to have 30-plus when he made his first three shots. But then things started to decline right after that. Gardner's missed five shots in a row now. 45-32. Fullerton. Davis underneath. Follow up Ozell. Ozell with a one-handed stuff. Somebody's got to box that man out of there. 11 points for the big guy. 47-32 Fullerton. Ivan Verbetti. Another rebound for Ozell Jones. Eight boards. Nice move by Tony Neal. Oh, no, that was a real nice move. Okay, he was really under control. Had his balance the whole way that time, and his shot was nice. 17-point lead for Fullerton. Cody Gardner back out to Cardell Taylor. He's going to shoot it. No, he didn't. Traveling on Taylor. And Taylor looks over at Buss, and Buss puts his hands out to him and says, what's going on out there? But Cardell was saying, hey, I didn't travel. Nine minutes left, 49-32, Fullerton. Titans didn't take the lead for the first time in this game until 12 minutes had elapsed. And it was George Yezbeck who got on the lead, and Fullerton has stayed in that lead. Stretching it out now to 17. Good pass. Kevin Henderson. 51-32. I'll tell you, it didn't really matter whether he made it or not. Ozell Jones was all over that offensive board once again. That rebound belonged to him. Cardell Taylor on the drive. And the foul is on Leon Wood. They used to say about Fullerton, 
As Leon Wood goes, so goes Fullerton. Well, Leon has only eight points tonight, but he's had a lot of help, and they haven't had to have a big point production from Leon. Gee, they call that foul on Leon Wood. Should have been called on Ozell Jones, and looking at it again, he was the only guy that hit Taylor. Wood will go to the bench as Taylor steps to the line. Yesbeck is in as Leon's backup. First point of the night for Cardell Taylor. 51-33. Taylor is from Bayshore, New York. 5'10 junior. 51-34. Yesbeck being bothered by Cardell Taylor. Taylor reminds me of a boxer with his moves. Great upper torso. Well, I like his enthusiasm out there, the way he slides and works hard out there defensively. 51-34, Fullerton. And it goes to Ozell Jones. Nice shot by Ozell. 13 points for the young man who started out at Wichita State. Even though he went to Poly High at Long Beach, transferred here a couple of years ago and having one of his better games. 53-34. Gardner has missed five shots in the row. Cardell Taylor misses that one. Tony Neal for Fullerton. 11 rebounds for Tony Neal. Ozell Jones has eight, so those two have done the job rebounding for Fullerton. 53-34, Fullerton. There's a steal by Singleton, but Kevin Henderson gets it right back. Underneath, Davis. 55-34. Crowd tonight of 2,912 here at Titan Gym. And a timeout called by Long Beach. Seven minutes left. And Long Beach way down. 55-34 to Fullerton. Sid and Sammy's Sub Shop had a big slice of the sandwich market. Must be your salami, Sammy. <laughs> I'm waiting. They wanted to get into knockwurst, bratwurst, yachtwurst, and liverwurst. In the worst way. <laughs> but a refrigeration yeah. failure turned their best worst into the world's worst worst. Hoodie. Fortunately, they had a business owner's special policy from Sentry Insurance. So we didn't have to swallow our losses. If you run a business, call Sentry. Where all's well, Hoodie. even when all isn't. Jerry Goodwin Dodge invites you to join the transportation revolution by test driving the dream machines for 1984. The Dodge Daytona and the Dodge Caravan. The Daytona, with all its turbocharged power, delivers an unbelievable combination of performance, sports car agility, efficiency, and affordability. The Caravan is a revolutionary new concept in transportation. It redefines the meaning of high technology and versatility. So visit Jerry Goodwin Dodge at 1110 West Orange Thorpe in Fullerton today. Fullerton led by seven at halftime, and they have extended that now to 21 points. There's your scoring by half, and you can see a dismal uh, performance offensively for Long Beach State so far. So well, they didn't score in the first five minutes of the half. We still have a little over seven minutes left. So George McCorn's team lost so many close games. They've got they've had five defeats by a total of six points. So you just slice those in half. They're flirting with 20 victories. So after all of those close defeats, four losses in overtime, big lead for the Titans tonight, 55-34. Craig Lack for Long Beach makes the 10-foot baseline jumper. And for Craig Lack, six points in the game. Neal commits the foul, his third. Uh, Long Beach is going more and more individually, and this was a nice little individual effort by Craig Lock. He had that thing in there all the way. Craig Lock is a fifth-year senior, already has a bachelor's degree. I think it's in finance, isn't it? That it is. 
55-37 on the free throw by Lack. Kevin Henderson comes out, and Leon Wood is back in. Leon has made four out of 11 from the floor. It's not a vintage Leon Wood performance. Some players have games like that. It's just tough to get everything going. But Fullerton hasn't needed a vintage Leon Wood performance. Ozell Jones. Out of bounds to Fullerton. George McCorn has watched Gary Davis score 16. Ozell Jones, 13. Tony Neal, 6. And Henderson has 8 points. Leon Wood with the ball. He has 8. Six minutes left from Titan Jim. Leon Wood over in the corner. Out to Davis. 18 points for the 6'6 junior from Compton, Gary Davis. You can almost hear George McCorn talking to himself, just hoping that Gary Davis keeps that hot outside shooting going into the PCA tournament. They are going to pull off any kind of major upset that need a good shooting game from him. The missed shot by Singleton, gobbled up by Ozell Jones. Nine rebounds for Jones. Underneath, Davis. That is 20 points for Gary Davis, who has now made 10 field goals in only 13 shots. 59-37, Fullerton. Gardner is now 0 for 6 in this half. Grabbed off by Craig Lack. And Lack throws it away. So well, nothing at all is going right. He was trying to thread it all the way past the basket to Singleton, and I think it was uh, Gardner who tried to intercept. He thought it was intended for him. Henderson was trying to get into the game, and he ran right into referee Bob Sidoff, was trying to wave him out. 59-37, five minutes to go. Titans come up with it again down to Leon, and Yezbeck let him a little too much. Just off his fingertips. Cardell Taylor in for Long Beach. Singleton will go off. Fullerton 59, Long Beach 37. So the Titans are getting even for the game that really turned around their season after that 53-51 victory at Fresno State. Four nights later, they lost in four overtimes to this Long Beach team, 52-50. Since that time, they've dropped eight out of the next 11. 59-39. Chambers making the bucket for Long Beach. Chambers is a freshman from Milwaukee. First team All-State back in Wisconsin last year. Look Goes out. Up. Jones! Whoa. Dynamite. 61-39. 15 points for Ozell Jones. And that one was looped in by Chambers. Darren Chambers, 61-41. There's a jam by Neal after he was set up with an assist from Leon Wood. Wow, what a wild play out there. I'll tell you, the crowd, the students really like it here. Ozell Jones is such a popular player, and they just love that last move. They're all on their feet. And starting to party right now. Gardner is now 0 for 7 in this half. Leon Wood, oh, look at that no-look pass. Right through it too hard. Jody Gardner for Long Beach. Off to Craig Lack, and he hits it. 20-point lead for Fullerton, 63-43. Little over three minutes remaining in this game from Titan Gym. The gym holds a little over 4,000. 2,912 here this evening. They'll have one more last hurrah for Leon Wood. That'll be Thursday night against New Mexico State. Davis has been sensational. 22 points for Gary Davis. His career high, 27 against University of Texas San Antonio in December. <laughs> 
Ozell Jones will come out of the lineup. So will Gary Davis. Yep. Less than three minutes left. George McCorn clears the bench. Darnell Fletcher coming in along with Johnny Wilkes. Neal is out. John Samuelson getting ready to come in, but this man has electrified this crowd in the last 30 seconds with his board play underneath and his stuffs at the other end. Watch it again. This is Tony Neal doing the honors. It's a 22-point lead for Fullerton with 2.52 remaining. Jerry Goodwin Dodge invites you to join the transportation revolution by test driving the dream machines for 1984, the Dodge Daytona and the Dodge Caravan. The Daytona, with all its turbocharged power, delivers an unbelievable combination of performance, sports car agility, efficiency, and affordability. The Caravan is a revolutionary new concept in transportation. It redefines the meaning of high technology and versatility. So visit Jerry Goodwin Dodge at 1110 West Orange Thorpe in Fullerton today. The lineup for Fullerton, John Samuelson, 6'5 freshman, Johnny Wilkes, a 6'5 senior, Gary Moeller, a 6'7 junior, Darnell Fletcher, a 6'2 junior, and George Yesbeck, a 6'2 junior. I think uh, Long Beach wanted a face off there. They kind of lined up at the uh, circle there at half court. Anytime you have uh, as many as three substitutions, you can have a face-off where you kind of line up and everyone figures out well, who's playing what position so you, you know who to guard. Five new players now for Fullerton. Underneath is Johnny Wilkes. Yesbeck has it. Foul called on uh, Chambers. Darren Chambers. Darren Chambers getting uh, some playing time. There's uh, Mr. Wilkes and uh, Verbetic with a block on his shot. Look at that, reaching in on defense. Wow, he's lucky he didn't get called for a foul. Fullerton will up its record to 17 and 10, and the even Steven in conference play, 8 and 8. Yesbeck off to John Samuelson. Yesbeck open from the side, but he doesn't pop from there. Almost threw it away. Yesbeck from the corner. His 11th shot of the year. <laughs> In case you weren't with us at the outset, Fullerton took the lead for the first time with eight minutes left in the first half on a, about an 18-foot shot by George Yesbeck. Only his 10th shot of the season, and this is the 27th game. But it hit nothing but net. Gardner, who's been in a shooting slump, still is. A follow-up by Chambers doesn't drop. Chambers fouled underneath. Samuelson got him. John Samuelson. Yeah, Jody Gardner on this shot was just a little bit short. I'll tell you, he's, he's been way off the mark, too. You know, it's one thing, and uh, Chambers uh, is mad at himself for missing it. It's one thing when you miss shots, but Gardner hadn't been close at all. He's 0 for 8 in this half, and he goes out of the game. Isn't that amazing, the turnaround? The way Jody Gardner started out, he made his first three shots, the only shots taken by Long Beach in the first couple of minutes. He had six points. I guess you just have to say he peaked a little early. <laughs> Strange game at times. You can be off a little bit, then you start to press and you get frustrated. Things go from bad to worse. Chambers makes it 65-44 with 1.47 to go. Fletcher being hounded by Chambers. It's touched last by Chambers. Out of bounds to the Titans. George McCorn must be saying to himself, why couldn't we add some of these points? Saved them for the first meeting. And we lost 52-50 in four overtimes. 
Well, I'll tell you one thing. Gary Davis didn't have his jump shot going the way he did uh, the first time tonight. I watched that first game, and Ozell Jones was not that much of a factor inside either the first time. Davis with 22 points on the bench along with the other first stringers for Fullerton. And George Yesbeck will go to the free throw line. Yesbeck will shoot two. He's quite a story. A walk-on. Cerritos, La Mirada, transferred from Cerritos College. But he plays well, and he's a good backup. The Titans suffer a little bit scoring punch, but he handles the ball well. Well, it's a five-man game. You don't have to have everyone score out there. And he proved he's a little bit of a threat tonight. He hit a shot. And, and I think it's kind of a nice uh, contrast when he comes in. He takes so much pressure off Leon Wood, who's normally used to handling the ball. Now Leon can play without it for a little while. And maybe kind of work for his shot. Or work to get open, rather. Yes, back drops it in. It's 67-44, Fullerton. Fullerton with a seven-point lead at the half, and they have really opened it up here in this half. Foul is on Yesback. Well, Cardell Taylor tried to uh, penetrate in there, and they just closed it off and tripped him. That's what Cardell Taylor did so well Thursday night. Penetration. That's why he got his 23 points. Uh, he is quick out there. Very quick. He's got to go hard, though, if he's going to get 23 tonight. Yesbeck has it punched away by Cardell Taylor. Here comes Adams. <laughs> Taylor was over saying, hey, I've got a two or three step lead of my man. I'm here. But uh, Adams says he could get it done, and he yeah. did. Yeah, and uh, Yesbeck uh, showed some intelligence by not trying to block it. Foul is on Cardell Taylor. Adams wanted to pass, and then he realized, hey, I can go all the way myself. That's what you call a strong dunk. And at the free throw line again is George Yesbeck. Fullerton will look back upon this season and say what might have been. The two overtime losses to UNLV, four overtime losses. Cardell Taylor scores that. 67 to 48. Taylor has six all here in the second half. He didn't play in the first half. Foul is called on Darren Chambers. And Yesbeck, who spent quite a deal of time at the free throw line, will toe the mark again. 47 seconds left. Long Beach will drop to 9 and 16 and 6 and 10 in the PCAA. Sixty-eight, forty-eight. Once again, the Titans have their twenty-point lead. McCorn in front of the bench, conferring with John Sneed, Bill Matthews, and Danny, Donnie Daniels, his uh, three assistants. Sixty-nine, forty-eight. Cardell Taylor stripped of the ball by Wilkes. The foul on Wilkes. Well, Wilkes tried to block it. Cardell says, hey, I don't care if you block it or try to. You're going to have to foul me. I'll get a couple free throws out of this. All of these games kind of follow the same pattern. A lot of fouls in the final two and a half minutes of play. Well, you've got a lot of people that are uh, fresh in there that haven't played, and uh, they realize they're down. And, you know, it's like those football games. Everyone runs up and down the field, and then the last two minutes of the game, everyone throws for 40-yard gains. You say, why didn't they do that earlier? 69-49, 49ers, only five out of 12 at the free throw line. Yesbeck sees a little opening. Nice drive by George Yesbeck. And he was fouled to boot. 71-49, Titans. Well, he just really handles the ball well. Look at that left-handed dribble. He was in control all the way, and then he protected the ball uh, with his body awfully well in the shot so no one could block it. How many points do you suppose George Yesbach has scored in this half? I don't know, five, eight. I'm surprised too as I looked at the stat sheet. Well, what's his high for the year? Coming in, I wonder. We'll check that out. Probably eight. We'll go the other way. 
71-49. Fullerton State with 24 seconds left. Foul was called on Ricky Smith. So we'll go at the other end of the court for some more free throws. Rebounding has been uh, a key factor for Fullerton. Tony Neal with 12 points. Ozell Jones with nine. Well, yes, back coming into the contest only had 11 uh, points on the whole season. His high game was four. Now it's eight. John Samuelson breaks into the scoring column. He's going to look back and he's going to say, you know that Long Beach game, that was half of my season. Everybody has scored for Fullerton except for Fletcher and Wilkes. 73-49. Our thanks to Mel Franks, the SID here at Fullerton State, for his assistance. Terry Ross, Sports Information Director at Long Beach. Moeller misses. So does Yezbeck. And we get a foul underneath. It'll be on Darren Chambers. Let's look at that one more time. Yesbeck made a nice pass. Now, Moeller tried to dunk it. He didn't have the height on it. Hit the ball hit the rim. And then it was just a, a madhouse scramble from that point. At the free throw line will be Chambers. Darren Chambers from Marquette High School in Milwaukee. George McCorn. That'll be pleased with the performance of this team. A year ago, Fullerton lost its last three games. And McCorn is hoping that maybe this one might get him some momentum into that PCA tournament starting March the 8th at the Forum. 73-51 as Chambers makes a couple of free throws. In it comes to Darnell Fletcher. Off to Johnny Wilkes. He'll just stand there and hold the ball and let the clock tick down. And it's history here at Titan Gym. Fullerton State wins big 73 to 51 over Long Beach and George McGorn gets even for that four overtime loss to Dave Buss in Long Beach five weeks ago. Today they moved me in. Tonight's we're moving out. Turn it loose. It won't slow you down, push that. Turn it loose. Don't slow down. Turn it loose. Connell Chevrolet, Southern California's leading Chevrolet dealer, where you can save big money on the 84 Camaro, America's most sought-after sports car. From now until March 15, Connell Chevrolet has the entire line of new Camaros at incredible savings, with 80 in stock and 60 on the way, featuring the all-new 84 Berlinetta with electronic dash. Bring in your used car for high trade-in dollars at Connell Chevrolet 2828 Harbor Boulevard in Costa Mesa. Coming after me? Well, after so many close defeats for Fullerton State, George McCorn must be saying, hey, we were due for a big one. And the Titans certainly had a big one tonight, 73-51 over Long Beach. Let's talk to the winning coach who's standing by with Lynn Shackelford. Coach, uh, Mike Walden said, well, you're probably going to say we were due for a game like this. I think that's right. Well, you know, Lynn, I really thought that we played much better at Santa Barbara uh, uh, couple of weeks ago and I thought that we played better the first 20 minutes at UNLV than we did tonight I wasn't real pleased with the way we played the first half I thought that we did some good things offensively in the second half and I thought that both Kevin Henderson and Gary Davis did a real good job on Jody Gardner he doesn't even score in the second half for long you did you, you shut them off uh, totally anywhere uh, your whole defense did a pretty good job well I don't know if we did it Lynn or if they yeah. did it to themselves or, or it was a kind of a strange game in a lot of ways but uh, but I, 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 like I said, I, I like the way we played the second half, particularly offensively. Ozell Jones was strong inside second half. Late in the second half, he got going. You know, Burbeck had uh, three fouls uh, early in the ball game, picked up his fourth in the, uh, in the second half, and uh, Burbeck just wasn't a factor defensively, so we wanted to get the ball to Ozell. And uh, Ozell asserted himself, Lynn, and, and had a couple big plays. Hey, you win this game easily, and yet you have an All-American guard, Leon Wood, that wasn't much of a factor out there. Well, uh... You know, uh, Leon uh, has had some great ball games for us, uh, Lynn. Uh, we wanted to play Yesbeck some because, uh, you know, George does some good things for us, I think. 
And uh, I thought George played well. Uh, Leon uh, uh, didn't score a lot tonight for us, but, uh, you know, I thought Yazbek played pretty well, though. Congratulations on the win. We'll see you at the tournament. Thank you, Lynn. Okay, that's George McCorn, the head coach. And with me now is the man of the hour, the big guy. You're pretty popular here. Yeah, yeah um, just trying to keep those stats as far as uh, rebounding. Uh, coach uh, had me in the locker room, kind of chewed me out a little bit. Um, he brought to our attention that uh, they, they beat us last year and this year, and uh, that we had a lot of uh, lot to show and uh, a lot of greed to get on. You know? I thought in the uh, second half, you came to play on the offensive board. You got a lot of second efforts there, and that helped. Yeah, um, you know, offensively, uh, we didn't do too much in the uh, first half. I had two in the uh, first half, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, rebounding and the offense was uh, pretty good for uh, uh, Tony, too, in you know, the second half. Okay, nice game out there, Ozell, and we will see you at the PCA tournament. Thank you, Lynn. Okay, that's Ozell Jones, and now Gary Davis who maybe in the last couple of weeks had some games that weren't uh, typical Gary Davis games. You weren't shooting that well from the outside, but you had the shot back tonight. Well, my shooting hasn't been up to par this year, and uh, I've been, uh, had a good first half against Vegas. I came out tonight and knocked a couple shots down in the first half, and I felt pretty good throughout the game. And just happened the shots went down. I got some good passes from my teammates. You guys have had a frustrating season. This maybe makes it a little easier to take. It's been real frustrating. What we're trying to do now is get a roll going for the PCA tournament, and we still have a shot at winning 20 ball games. We're going to come out and try and play hard for 40 minutes each ball game. Okay, we'll see. That's Gary Davis. We're going to be coming back here to the Titan Gym.